Addie Penta. She batted over 300 against the team last week, so she's coming off a hot bat. She'll ground that one over to Rodriguez and two quick outs for Destiny Rodriguez in the big orange. True ace on this squad for Tennessee. As Pickens will lob that one up and a double all the way to the wall. Rounding first on to second with a dive is Crenshaw. And Missouri's got something cooking here in the first. I need discipline and make sure the ball comes to you. The 2-2. Check swing, did she go? She did. Strike out number one for Carlin Pickens. And as Kiki Malloy, the Tennessee home run queen herself, is going to line that one off the center field wall. Malloy with a wide turnaround first, and she'll scoot into second with a leadoff double. And that's how you want to start SEC play. Kring's 2-1. Is hit left side. What a grab over at third base. Daly is there. That one runs wide, and they'll be at the corners for McKenna Gibson. 2-2. Two -two. Hit right side, and that one will sneak in the first baseline. Malloy will score. And Karen Weekly sending in all in. She will score. It's a two-RBI double for McKenna Gibson, and the Lady Vols are in front two to nothing. Such a great job here. Sitting back, look at that, driving with their hips to take it over to that right side. And so much speed on the base paths. A nice piece of inside out hit. It has taken over the everyday catching role for Karen Weekly's squad, and she'll hit that one into center field, and that will drop in front of the center fielder. Tennessee will have runners on the corners again, just some soft contact, but Nugent will take it with a single. I love how fast Nugent has to go. She's already got four here in 24. And Rodriguez will hit that one up, and that one will fall in for a base hit. Gibson's going to score. Everyone's safe, and Tennessee leads three to nothing. What a way to start Tennessee. Rod on those inside pitches, but this is just showing the strength that Tennessee has. Rodriguez getting jammed, but muscling through to get that ball into the infield. These lady balls are living right. These softballs are falling just in no man's land. And Tennessee has got three runs here in the first in Missouri. It's three home runs against South Dakota. And she'll face a 3-2 here from Creams. Strike three and a big strikeout from 24 and Black in that. The pitch. That one hit left side. That one will drop in again. Karen Weekly will throw on the brakes and have Nugent stay at third, and they're loaded up for Tennessee. And Anything on the white. And that one is launched. Center field, goodbye. It's a grand slam for Julia Kutsoyanopoulos and a crooked number on the board in the first. Tennessee leads seven to nothing. Well, Tennessee just loves these grand slams. I've been here for two games and we've already seen three of them. And I love the happiness of the team there. Cheering everyone on, Katsuyanopoulos just stayed back and drove that pitch. And it was right at the letters, exactly where you want it to be. Kriegs has got to move that ball off the plate just a little, especially against this Tennessee lineup. Quite expected. For Tennessee to come out this hot, you could tell they were ready to play SEC play. Fall will bloop that one up, and the grab is made by G In a career at Tennessee, now up to 63 in her fifth season on Rocky Top, and she's going to lace that one in the gap. Malloy's going to have to get on her horse to get to second, and she'll get there with a stand-up double. Kicks eight in Mizzou history with 510 strikeouts, and she gets strikeout number 511 there, but not before. Tennessee, seven runs on seven hits. Missouri not going to get all those seven runs back in the second. Carlin Pickens continues to deal. Strikeout number one for Pickens. Gonna go out there and pitch a little freely in the circle. And that one will be hit right back up the middle. Fall is there and she makes the strong throw to first for the second out in the second. And I loved that play by Faw. She had That one hit left side on the ground, and Gibson fires over to Mueller for out number three. One, two, three, go the Tigers. Tennessee and those red hot scorching bats will come to the dish when you. On Monsters Inc., so that nickname is just stuck with her, and now she has it here as a softball player. 
Who will ground that one left side, and that's a hot shot at Daly. She can't hang on to it, and they'll roll that an E6, or excuse me, an E5 on the third baseman. Karen Mack, long ago in the first inning, she did score a run, and she will fly out to the pitcher there. One pitch, one out for Krings in the circle. And that's the way you want to come back. You want to try to start. Are slotted in that top 25 pole. That one will get away from the catcher in Crenshaw, and Kirkpatrick will get a free. Like postseason play all year long. Have you a super regional every weekend? That one's going to run high to Rodriguez, and Tennessee's got two on. And Laura Mueller will step to the dish for the big orange. A little bit more. She's leaving a lot on the white right now against Tennessee. That one will hit sky high and center all the way back to the warning track and a grab made by Handel, but extending those base runners up 60 feet. And Tennessee will have two in scoring position in the second. And that one hit back up the middle for a base hit. Kirkpatrick will score, slamming on the brakes as Taylor throw down to second, and she's safe. As Taylor Panel's got an RBI and Tennessee's got lucky run number eight. But not all about the long ball today. We had the big grand slam, but after that, it's been single after double after single, and that's what you want to see from your offense, one through nine. Taylor Panel has been seeing the ball well, just putting the ball right where it needs to be and not doing too much, not over swinging, but also great base running. The second she saw last at bat. A three, two. Swung on and missed. They'll have to throw it down to first, and cut so Annapolis is retired. But not before Tennessee gets another run in the second. That I would listen to 23 seasons here in Rocky Top as that one runs inside for a strike. Strikeout number three. Nine players from the Show Me State on this Missouri roster. That one blooped. Shortstop fall will make the grab for out number two. And pick it here in the third. The pitch is softly. Rolled over to Pickens. She'll fire over to first for out number three. One, two, three. Patty Gallagher and her father and their entire family, the Gallaghers, we wish him the absolute best. That one launched into left field and another home run for Tennessee. This time it's Bella Fall. Her first collegiate home run in the orange and white, and that is as big of a smile as you'll see from 22 in orange and white. And fans right away jumping out of their seats. Look at this. Beautiful timing right down the middle again by Krings, and she took it exactly where it needs to be in the deepest ballpark part of the ballpark. Bella Fogg got all of that one and smiles all around. She'll throw on the Really was focusing on discipline. She knew she's not gonna get a lot of pitches at the plate. She'll ground that one into the six hole. Malloy's got speed, but the gun from the set, the shortstop and Jenna Laird will gun her down for out number one. You mentioned Malloy, just trying to kick things off at two o'clock tomorrow here in Knoxville as Pooney will drop that one in again. Linger had to throw her glove up and bloop hit after bloop hit. It all works for Tennessee today. Struggled early on in the season, played in the different collegiate kind of classics and tournaments early on as Gibson is hit there. What was working, what was not working because she's gonna have to pitch again in this series. You mentioned we will see Laura Krings again this weekend as the left fielder in Phillips makes the grab. New into the ball game. Number 28, Shantice Phillip. The one, two from Touche. Rolled over from Taylor. She's got speed, but she can't leg that one out. And out number three in the inning, but not before. Bella Fall. What? To be the fastest pitcher to ever throw in college softball. That one launched straight up into the East Tennessee night, and McKenna Gibson is there. Being it a little bit better. That one hit left side. Fall, is she going to make a play? Yes, she will. Fall gets out number two. But something that she does struggle with is if she struggles, she's quiet. That's a sharply hit softball from Daly there, and Malloy will see that one one hop the wall. And it is a two-out double for Kara Daly, the second hit of the day for Mizzou. Pearson looking for her 200th career win. Early in her sixth.
Pickens season, and Pickens gets strikeout number four. Pickens has been phenomenal today. Here's Malloy. West, and that one sharply hit, but on a backhand, Gallagher with a strike over to first for out one. And that was a nice play by Gallagher over there at. That'll be Taylor Panel. She rips that one into center. And Arnold is there for out number two. It drops or maybe sit back and let it drop and hold off of it. A 1-1, one, one, bloop in the right field and coming on to make the grab, Maddie Gallagher. Two grabs here in the fourth. Missouri needs two runs. Complete game shutout, and she has done it efficiently tonight. That one hit on a rope, but a nice grab made over at second for Laura Mueller. What a play by Mueller to be able to. A nice trade out left field. The three two. Rise ball runs upstairs, and Missouri's got a pulse here in the fifth. And that's the first walk on. Away from a 1-0 SEC start, but Missouri it's a swing and a miss there. Another strikeout from Carlin Pickens, her fifth on the day. For Missouri. And she'll roll over that one. Gibson is there, far over to first in time. And Tennessee gets a 9-0 win in five innings.